What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ, and this is the second part of the Digital Storm review. We got a couple things to talk about, why it took nine months to get part two, and also have to introduce Aaron. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> this video we're going to have a specific format, there's a couple things I want to cover, I don't want to get off too much in a tangent because it's very easy to do, so I'm going to try to keep to these guidelines. And we have a couple bullet points to cover. Um, so what happened to part two of the Digital Storm review? Uh, how well did it benchmark? Someone said they changed their product line, yes and no. Um, look at PCs, we're going to look at PCs on their site and see what's changed in the year, uh, what we liked and what you should be aware of, um, and then, you know, would we recommend you buying one of them? And I'm helping now with builds, um, and we also started a new channel. Yeah, so that's basically everything. Uh, first thing before we get into it, I want to look at what the website showed us and what we actually got so i have some pictures i can put up in here and you can see as you know a lot of times they show you this decked out pc but what you actually get is not the picture that they're showing you so that's the first thing i wanted to show just the pictures oh and originally i was going to compare it to pcs i have on my site but there's kind of no point because this PC had no video card. So even my $600 models would just be doubled FPS. It's not really a fair comparison. So I didn't go that route. All right, let's talk about what took so long for the review and why it didn't say it for nine months. Well, basically this thing was a nightmare to benchmark. I benchmarked five games, which were, let me see my notes, which were PUBG, Apex Legends, what else? I had Fortnite, Shadow of War, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And these games, not only did the PC take a very long time to update when we first got it out of the box, it's also 7200 RPMs, no SSD or anything like that, so it took very long to even install everything to it. And then it was painstaking. <laughs> I mean, even in Fortnite we barely got 30 FPS, and that's because it doesn't actually have a dedicated video card. So that was very painful to, you know, you couldn't do multiple resolutions, you're just stuck at 1080p, maybe 720p, and then after that, the hard drive failed. So, it's not actually their fault why the hard drive failed, it was a Seagate Barracuda, which is not a bad hard drive, but it did happen, and that's that killed a lot of my benchmarks and a lot of my save files, so I didn't want to go back through fraps and redo it all, and a lot of things happened in life, so there we are. Shit happens. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to talk about the benchmarking. Um, as I said, it didn't do too well. So we benchmarked it in Fortnite and a couple other things, and it struggled. It struggled to get 60 FPS. It's just, um, you know, you can look up the user benchmarks. It just does not do well because it can be overclocked as well. A320 motherboard, there's not much you can do there. You only had 8 gigs of RAM, which are limited to the two dims it doesn't have good power delivery now the a320 motherboard was really good back when ryzen first came out and you could get a cheap motherboard when you know everything was expensive and the mining craze was big and it was worth saving an extra 30 bucks right on the a320 but now there's no point of ever having one and they're just doing it because they're cutting corners they're trying to sell cheap pcs get it out the door as quick as possible even the ram itself did not even match the aesthetic of the pc what was it viper i think and it had a red heatsink on it which the rest of the pc's got blue fans and it's got a cheap like um led light strip so it shows you how much they try to cut corners on these pcs yeah they put it in a beautiful case though so the corsair crystal was a pretty good case but everything else besides it was kind of bottom of the barrel Okay, so if we use the website user benchmark, even in Fortnite, which happens to be the easiest game they have to run, uh, a lot of people were hitting around 50 FPS, and you look, it goes down to 40 and 30. You had hiccups. You would run around, and your average may be 50 FPS, 49.43, as it said, but a lot of times you get into combat or you're breaking down the building, whatever, and you'll drop down. These numbers are ridiculous. I don't know how you're hitting 90 in uh, 1080p on high, but... It's, as you see here, it's not uncommon to drop down to 30 FPS, which is really jarring when your frame rate's cut in half in the middle of combat. So when it comes to the benchmark, the easiest game, now you have an example here. For $699, you're getting an average of 49 FPS, dropping down to 30. All right, so someone said they changed their product line. Yes and no. So they changed their case. 
let's go check this out. So if we go to their desktops here, and once again, they have a beautiful website, and that's where most of their sales are coming from, is the how nice their website's laid out. They put a lot of money in that. They put a lot of money in advertisement. So if you look here, it's no longer the Vanquish, it's the Lynx, and um, it's just a different case. We'll go in here, we'll take a look at what they've changed and see if it's worth your money up to 12 core processor that's all the premium a lot of this stuff they're talking about the premium ones here you're gonna have to pay two thousand dollars to get that but let's look at the 699 which is the comparable model which we tested which we have right here so it's instead of a 2400g it's 3400g which does nothing in improvement of your video card it's exactly the same still eight gigs of memory still the same um what did they do uh yes there wasn't an ssd it's Everything's still the same, so let's go and look. And you're still pushing that same exact A320 motherboard, even though this is not even the one that comes with it. But, so they didn't change anything. All they changed was the case. This is probably a cheaper case, to be honest, than the one they originally were sending out. The Corsair Crystal was probably the best thing of this whole build, and it's no longer there. A stream cooling, it you don't get this cooler. You get the stock one. You get this little light strip. Um, the chassis fans, they weren't RGB, um, I guess maybe they're RGB, I'm not sure, maybe a couple come with this case stock and that's why you can get a couple. It'll have three blue fans up front, a black fan in the back, or no, gray one that Corsair gives you for free when you buy the case, and then a light strip right down here. And that's it. Okay, before we get into the user reviews, which is the next part I had planned, uh, there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, the price of these builds and okay so we'll take a look at the next one up um, we're using a Corsair 570 X case amazing looking case I'll give them that okay and we've already talked about that you're not gonna get this this is not gonna look anything like this they're not gonna pay for these uh, braided cables you're not gonna get this type of liquid cooling I mean maybe you are if you spend like five thousand dollars but the basic models are not gonna look anything like this so we've already went over that we know that but here's the thing. You're also not going to get SLI, that's for sure. But let's go down here and let's look at the specs. All right, and then this is laughable at best. So this company has the ability, they get all these parts in bulk. So they're cheaper. They're able to sell, they're manufacture them and sell them very quickly. They're not even taking the manpower and time to benchmark or test the computers after they're assembled they only test them they test they say they test the parts before they put them together and then your computer that you get like for me it took two hours at least to update windows i had to update the ufei uh, bios as a lot of people call it i had to update my video drivers because i was starting with a clean state they, they literally installed windows pulled out the usb and walked away so the thing is they're not even spending manpower to do any of this. This is just, this stuff only takes them, I don't know, let's say two hours, but let's view the config here. So for 1397, you're getting only a 3600X. Okay, so what, 200, $250 processor? You're getting an SSD and an X470 motherboard, and that's it for $1,400, $1,400. That is crazy. In a, in a case that's really nice, yes, but that's an under $200 case. You got about, since they're using bottom of the barrel RAM, $60 in RAM. This is probably a $60, you know, um, SSD, $60 two terabyte, and some fans. So their profit margin margins are huge, not to mention that they're buying everything in bulk. And just to put it in perspective, not to not i'm not trying to push my product or anything like that i'm not telling you guys to buy from me but to put it in perspective i build computers in these cases right and i have to deal with buying at retail i have to pay taxes website fees and i use paypal for checkout so i'm paying fees to paypal all of that and when my price is i can manage to get you an i7 and a gtx or rtx 2070 for about 50 to 100 bucks more than this on my website. That I don't even know what video card they're advertising here, but I'm just I'm just trying to say that that is crazy to me. 
Um, I did look before. I think it was something ridiculous. Yeah, a 1650, guys. A $160 video card. This video card will not even max out 1080p gaming, and you're paying $1,400 for the system. That is laughable at best. When I was post-editing this video, I went back and I saw this, and I just wanted to point it out to you guys. Now we're going to... Look, the stock cooler. Not It's not even that cooler. I just wanted to go back and you know talk about this so i can show you guys yeah you're saving 500 dollars. <laughs> that's ridiculous why did they even put this on here how are you saving 500 dollars? get out of here anyway just wanted to show you guys that now let's move on to the review part of the video all right so the next thing we wanted to cover is would i recommend buying from them or would we you saw tyler's computer before right yeah what do you think it's a good looking computer right yeah so it looks good but performance wise it is what it is uh would i recommend buying it probably not i think your money could go so much better elsewhere and i'm not even saying just buying from me or anywhere else i mean i don't really i'm not a fan of cyber power or anything like that but i think your options are pretty limited this this is very expensive and there's other people that have similar results let's go check out some of the reviews actually so I found it pretty interesting if we go down to Yelp, you see they have three out of five stars, but the truth is in the tale we're going to show right now. So what generally seems to happen with all of the reviews, you have one or two people who really like it, and then you have a couple people who had very bad experiences, bad experience with customer service, everything else. So let's take a look. Just an example here. So we have a five star review. This is all commenting on the five star and we have a one star review. Then we have a five star review, then we have a two star review, then we have a one star review, then a one star review, then a four star, then a one, then a five, then another five, then a one. So you can see how it goes. It's about 50-50. So anyone that took the time to write a review here, they have generally 50% good experience. We have two good ones in a row, then we have two bad ones in a row. So you can see a trend here. Now you can come here. This is um, Yelp uh, Digital Storm. It, it tells you to be aware before you buy. And uh, you can read the problems that these people had. And even though, like, yes, it's not every single person, if it's 50% of your customer base and they're having problems, then you're doing pretty bad. Now I'm willing to entertain the idea that a lot of people that aren't having problems are not writing reviews. Even that being said, what if it's 25% or 10%? You're going to take the chance that you're 1 in 10 or 1 in 4 people that are going to get a terrible computer and terrible review. And the problem that I had mainly with them was I, can't, I couldn't even uh, took back the computer if I wanted to. Uh, the return policy is if there is an issue with the hardware. So if, it, if you get it and you can't run any of your games, you're not allowed to return it because the hardware still works. Because of course it does. There's barely any parts in the damn thing. It's going to run. There's nothing to go bad, no power, no uh, video card for the power supply even to push on. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is I have Aaron helping me now. Now this is for our channel and our personal business of building computers for other people. And so I took months to show her how to build computers. And then even then I'm very particular how I want the computer to be built. Um, I pick out all the parts, I set them aside. I have her like put a couple things together. Like once again, I was very redundant in showing her how to do it. And then at the end of the day, I clean up all the belts. <laughs> I'm rewiring everything. I'm making sure everything looks exactly perfect because that's just the way I want them to leave. Every computer I send out, I want it to be something that I would be proud of having myself. So yeah, she helps me and maybe one day I'll let her do, you know, a full build. Hey. <laughs> but um, moral of the story is I picked up a lot of workload this year, uh, particularly at tax season. It was just nonstop. And after that, it, it really helps to have somebody that just, even if she just sockets the processor and bolts it in and puts the fans in for me, that, that really cuts down on my workload, especially with talking to customers and everything else. It's, it's a lot. So she's here now. She games with me. We're going to be building some computers together off our website, which is uh, you guys have probably already know, leakgaminghq.net. So lastly, I want to talk about our new channel, which is something I just wanted to do a side project for um, her and I and uh, my kids as well, is uh, we have a channel called Parker's Garage where we're doing all of our four-wheeler stuff, which I have like, what, 11 four-wheelers and a dirt bike. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> rebuild, like I'll put a clutch in, anything like that, carburetors, and uh, us just having fun and more shenanigans and antics. <laughs> More of like, like this site, I, I mean, this 
channel. I kind of kept to gaming and like uh, building PCs and information and stuff. And this other channel, I just want to have fun with it and I want to do like stuff that we have fun. So I got a really nice GoPro. I got the new one, the eight, and um, we just recorded a bunch of shit and <laughs> we'll be periodically <laughs> putting stuff out. So I we just put up our first video. By the time this releases, our first video will be up probably for a day or 12 hours before this releases. So won't have many views, but I'm hoping that some of you guys who actually enjoyed watching me, myself, will actually come over there and, you know, see more of our antics. And you'll get to see my kids and the, the dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's that. That's that. Yeah, so that's everything. So with the Digital Storm Review, as I said before, I honestly wouldn't recommend you guys going with them and there's issues there and we had issues and benchmarking was terrible and you get no returns uh, so i mean tyler's computer haven't you already done a whole bunch of upgrades to that now yeah so basically i rebuilt his whole computer right so he's just not even running case. yeah i kept <laughs> the case and the fans he's running now an uh an i5 the six core i5 and uh 16 gigs of ram uh video card he has um uh what is it an RX 590, so he's he's doing pretty good now. I added an SSD, of course. So I, I basically rebuilt the whole PC. <laughs> I got a case out of it. That's the only thing I could think to do with it. I mean, I guess I could have resold it and tried to get recoup some of my money for it, but there was no point. Wasn't in, worth it. Yeah, nobody would have bought it, especially not with that motherboard or anything. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and sorry for the long delay. I'm going to be putting out more videos periodically, and you know, try to get you guys some more information. We'll try to get back on the ball. I want to cover the winter Steam sale that's coming up. That's something I'm really interested in. Uh, some Black Friday stuff. We might do some Black Friday stuff on on our website as well. So, stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Andrew. I'm Aaron. <laughs> this is Elite Gaming HQ. <laughs> thanks, guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go over you helping That's me. Rude. I mean, people don't want you to help me, really. Like, this was better as a solo business. My whole thing always was like, if I hire more people, my quality will go down. Well, you didn't really hire me. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't pay you. But <laughs> <laughs> Just for the food. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I need to change the website. It's pretty dated looking. I need to update some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, just after looking at the other one. Oh, man. Like, they put a lot of they money into that. They put a lot into that, yeah. Yeah. Looks nice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is already turning into a train wreck. Maybe I should no. just keep you to building computers and not doing videos. No. <laughs>